what can you buy for a pound? A pint of milk? A packet of crisps? A first class stamp? I paid a pound for my house and I picked it out of a bowl. The average two bed house in Britain will set you back £250,000. In 2013, when 32-year-old Rachel from Stoke-on-Trent handed over her pound, she thought all her birthdays had come at once. I was looking for somewhere to live because I'd been living with my parents um, all my life. I had been saving for a deposit for a house, but then this opportunity for a one-pound house came up. So I thought that was a great opportunity to get on the ladder and get a house for myself. I initially read about it on Twitter because the local council have a Twitter feed. With only 33 houses up for grabs, the odds were stacked against Rachel. They had about 75 applications. I wasn't quite sure if I did qualify initially, um, but then I did and it just felt like winning the lottery. The criteria that you had to meet was you had to earn at least £18,000, but no more than £25,000. So there was lots of pieces of paper in a bowl with different addresses on and I got to pick out an address which randomly was this house. The pound isn't what you pay for the house really, it's a sort of deposit if you like. The council do up the property for you, new kitchen, new bathroom, central heating, and then I have to pay for the renovations which would be no more than £30,000 and you pay that over 10 years. When I first saw the property, it is quite shocking because it, it's just bare brick. I think viewing the house at that time could easily turn a lot of people off. So I had to put a lot of faith and a lot of trust in the local council that they would be true to their word, and they have. There was just that sense of, of excitement of this house is now mine and that there was going to be an adventure ahead. I've only been living in this house for two weeks so far. It took about a month really to do all that I wanted to do. On the stairway I have done a Piet Mondrian style design to add a bit of colour there. A lot of this stuff that's in the house actually belongs to my housemate. It's asleep though, don't you? <laughs> Rachel's been very good um, as a landlady, although that it's funny when you think of her like that, but she is my landlady. It's because you push the It's button. great to live with someone who's a really good friend and have quite similar lifestyles. <laughs> so, Rachel will be someone who I'd normally hang out with anyway. I enjoy baking. It's something that I've um, taken up in the last year or so. Oh, what I like about this kitchen as well is the dining room is part of the kitchen so when people have come to visit they can just stay in here and chat to us whilst we're, we're busy in a way. I can do what I want, when I want. When you're living at home with your parents it's their house so you have to get permission from them to invite people over so you know I really wanted somewhere to spend time with my friends here in my own house.